to believe we have the exciting opportunity to collaborate with like-minded scholars as part of our Visiting Scholar program. And this week, we have Dr. Matt Carlson here with us. Uh, Matt Carlson has a PhD in biochemistry from Caltech. He's also a high school physics teacher and, of course, a committed follower of Jesus Christ. And so I want to take this opportunity for all of us to get to know Matt a little bit better. Uh, Matt, my first question is, what's up with the green hair? Well, uh, I can't, like, it wants to stand up, so it, it, you know, it always stands up. I just cut it short, and it naturally stands up. As it grows, it becomes like anime, almost manga-ish, just tall. So, but you probably mean the color. And so it's green because I like green. I like green. It's the color of plants. I love plants. I love nature, the outdoors. Um, I did not dye my hair until after I had my PhD and a job. Because, you know, obviously you want to graduate, you want to, you want to get a job, right? The first teaching job I had was beautiful. I got the job. I walked in later that summer and like, oh, you've got green hair. The previous guy had orange hair. I'm like, my job yeah. right there. So, so I like the color. I like to be, I like to dress in bright colors. Um, it just keeps me happy. I match our house. My wife likes bright colors, so I fit in our house. We always say that, you know, it's the peacock effect that I caught my wife, who's very intelligent, very smart, very beautiful. So I'm just dressed brightly to get the attention. I'm a teacher. I love attention. Um, when I was younger, kind of a nerd, a little bit kind of off, and I, somehow I was fairly self-confident despite that. You know, I had a lot of stuff in bed, but I just thought, you know, I just need to be me as hard as I can be, you know? And so this is just me being as much me as hard as I can be. And uh, so, yeah, I, the hair changes sometimes in color and you don't always keep it, you know, dyed. Although it's nice now, keeps the gray out. You can't notice that, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's what the color, I, I like colors and just go with it. Yeah. Well, now, you, you're unusual in another way, <laughs> if I may say that. I'm um, a lot of ways. But, you know, because you have a, a PhD in technically in chemistry with an yeah. emphasis in biochemistry. If theoretical, I may... theoretical, biological, physical chemistry, whatever you want. Right. From Caltech. Caltech, yeah. And most people with PhDs from Caltech are a, off doing research in, on cutting-edge problems. Right. And you've chosen to devote your career to teaching high school students. Uh, Which could, is a cutting edge problem, I'm just saying. <laughs> just fewer of them, but yes. So, so what factored into your decision to pursue that as a career option? So, so the story goes is, is uh, I'm a social creature which you may be able to tell. Uh, and so if you want to see me doing my research, it was on computers, all theoretical stuff, right? So if you want to see me at work when I was in grad school, it looked like this. That's kind of thing. very boring, right? And so uh, as a grad student, there wasn't, uh, I mean, there was some collaboration, but not a lot. I always thought I'd be an okay professor because then I could actually collaborate with others. Uh, but as a student and as an early professor, it's, it's so isolating for me. Um, it, it wasn't a good fit. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and I also, a little bit lazy, so deadlines are, are also useful. So as a grad student, you're sat down and like, okay, um, in three to four years, you need to write a book about this thick, about four or five new discoveries. Uh, go. And then so you come in on Monday, like, okay, in three or four years, I need to do this. It is Monday. What should I do today? You know, and it's very hard to manage your time. As a teacher, very well time managed. I like that. I finished the year off and things clean break and, you know, I can start over again. So time management works for me. But also very, very important to me as, as a parent. I'm a father, three kids. And as a teacher, I have a lot of opportunities to spend time with them. Fortunately, unfortunately, I don't get to pick my vacation days, right? But I have a lot of them. And so uh, that's a high priority in, in our family. My wife is a full professor, very busy with that. Um, and, and, and I can support her in that. And then just hang with the kids. I like explaining science, mm -hmm. right? Uh, PhD work and professor work is not so much explaining science. It's like learning new science, usually tiny bits of science. And I, I, all of science is interesting. And I, I like to share that, I like to explain it. Mm -hmm. I just like the age group too. Yeah. 